Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make some lacto-fermented zucchini relish. You can do this very same recipe with cucumbers for regular pickle relish, but since we're oftentimes getting a lot of zucchinis out of the garden this time of year, I thought it would be really nice to show another way of using those. So this recipe will make a pint-sized jar of zucchini relish, and this recipe fits with the GAPS diet in the introduction stage three and beyond. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my zucchinis, and I'm going to chop them as finely as I can. Next, I'm going to mince up one garlic clove very finely. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mince up one onion very finely. Since that ended up being kind of a bigger onion, I'm actually gonna use probably only about half of it, and I'll just save some of that for something else. And then we're going to do half of a red pepper. Again, just mincing it as finely as you can. I'm gonna add all of my chopped up vegetables to a mixing bowl. And then to the mixing bowl, I'm going to add one teaspoon of mustard seed. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of raw honey. You know I don't like to measure honey, so I'm just gonna eyeball that tablespoon. And then two teaspoons of a good quality mineral salt. I'm using my favorite mineral salt, which is Celtic sea salt. So then we're just going to mix all of that together. Once it's all mixed, we're just going to put it into our jar. and it's okay to kind of pack it down in there. I'm gonna leave some space at the top of the jar. Depending on the size of the vegetables, you may or may not have some left over. It looks like I'm gonna have some left over, so I'll be doing a second jar here. It's a really good idea to use a fermenting weight when you make this, just so that everything stays below the brine and that nothing molds. So I wash these glass weights in hot soapy water and let them dry so I make sure that everything's very sanitary. So I'm just gonna press that down in there and then I'm going to fill the jar with filtered water. Make sure that it's settled in there and all the air is up. Next I'm going to put on a lid. You can do a variety of things for lids when it comes to fermenting. There's a lot of different fermentation lids that you can use. What I learned lately from Monica Corrado is to use a metal canning ring with a regular flat top. You just put that onto the jar nice and tightly and you'll notice that it has a little button that can come up and down at this point. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this on your counter at room temperature for three days and you'll see that the lid will become tight so that you cannot press that down anymore and make the sound. And once it's nice and tight like that and you can no longer press it and get the sound, then it's done. If you hear baby noises in the background, don't mind. We're just getting this done here with baby around. Some tips to make sure that this turn out well are to make sure that everything, your hands, cutting board, vegetables, everything are nice and clean. You wanna make sure that you're using organic produce. Oftentimes conventional produce will mold whereas organic won't when you're doing lacto-fermented foods. Okay, I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you try it out. And if you do, let me know how you like it. I have other fermenting videos on my channel, so be sure and check those out. I'll have some linked below. Let me know in a comment below what you are harvesting from your garden right now and what kind of things you're making. I'll have some links below to the jars and some different fermentation lids as well as these glass weights that I have. There will also be a link below to my blog post where I have a full written recipe and a printable recipe card if you want to grab that. Also in the description box, check out some links to some different freebies, ebooks, and checklists, printables, things like that. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like to know another use for all those zucchinis that we're harvesting and make some delicious lacto-fermented 
relish that's also full of friendly bacteria that's good for your gut. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient-dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.